Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How are you, Emmanuel? Great. Thank you. Congratulations on a fantastic film. Thank I you, wanna... man. Oh, I'm yeah. glad to hear you enjoyed it. Uh, very much. Uh, I, I want to know, what is the inspiration behind Bliss? Bliss, uh, the inspiration, it, it comes from a lot of different places, I guess. It's, it's hard to pinpoint one seed, but, uh, but I do look at Plato's cave from 380 BC, and I find that a very compelling story that, uh, you know, that the world is just sh shadows and that there's actually something outside of the cave. Um, that's, that's more intellectual. Another intellectual thing is Nick Bostrom's paper in 2003 that basically proves we're living in a simulation more or less. Uh, but again, that's an intellectual thing. So for me, I like, I, there are certain intellectual things that I gravitate towards. And then I try and find the emotional story that resonates best with that. And so as it relates to bliss, I thought the story, um, a, a story of, redemption, a story of forgiveness, a story of love, uh, uh, a story of a person being split, caught between two, two worlds, you know, uh, uh, could be best told through the science fiction story of simulation theory. So here's a man who's caught between two worlds. Well, let's not just call them two worlds, let's make them two worlds. Uh, which I, I feel like is, is one of the beauties of science fiction because it allows you to zoom in even closer to the human condition through the artifact of, of the fantasy. Can you, can you talk about the uh, chemistry between Owen Wilson and Selma Hayek that allowed them to be so well in two different worlds? Yeah, I, Selma and Owen had never done a film together and yet they're among our most revered and finest actors in the world. Their, their, their talent is, you know, incredible. And so to see them together for the first time uh, was absolutely thrilling. And it felt like, wow, we're gonna, you know, like he, 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 we're going to see, we're gonna be bottling lightning. And they have very different energies, right? As they, as they embody these characters, um, the thing that I often think about is, uh, is the sublime, this idea of the sublime, which is like an art term that means the beauty in the, and fear. The, the, the beauty and fear sort of combine to make uh, this very wonderful feeling inside of us, this where we pull, where, where you know, we're almost sublimated by them. And, uh, and there's these paintings from England in the middle of the 19th century of like a, a man standing on a mountain and there's the wilder, the daunting wilderness or, you know, like a boat, like a little lifeboat in a wild sea, stormy sea. And when I think about Salma and Owen, I think of Owen as the life raft and Salma as the sea <laughs> or the storm, you know? Like she has that power and he has that reliability and that like, that he, like he's like the surfer in the storm that you would float again. And so for me, their combination is sublime. And I was just so grateful that they both decided to do this film. Mike, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate it talking to you too, Emmanuel. Thank you. All right, take care.